Here with baseball coach Nick Winnicky. Coach, regular season's over. We get to keep talking baseball. First off, congratulations on making the MIEC tournament. A huge accomplishment for the Cardinals this year. Yeah, thanks, Donnie. Um, just, it's been a really good year. You know, the guys have really stuck together. We've gone through, uh, I always talk about the journey, and this is just part of the journey, and we're happy the journey can continue uh, to this weekend. You, you had a, the season finale, the doubleheader against against Carlton last week. Uh, played very well in the first game. Um, unfortunately, weren't able to get the split. You guys got to get together and uh, and listen to uh, the uh, the Augsburg St. John's game to, to to send you guys into uh, into the postseason. Talk a little bit about that night and uh, really another way that this team really came together. Yeah, it was um, when we finished our our second game with Carlton, and uh, obviously we took the loss. Um, we found out that Bethel swept Concordia and then that Augsburg beat St. John's in game one and we needed Augsburg at least to uh, not be able to uh, sweep St. John's. So um, we figured out, well, we don't want to end the season out there. We still had a shot to get in, so we decided to come upstairs here and um, put the game, luckily it was on the radio through the internet, put the game on some speakers and um, we just hung up here together as a team, had some pizza and um, just waited for that final out to be recorded. So. Uh, fall ball last year, heading into this year. Talk about that journey. Is this is is this expected of you this year? Did you did you figure you guys would be able to be uh, where you're at right now? Um, I thought that we were capable of doing it. It was just a matter of can we put something together. And um, you know, the big thing that we always talk about is belief. You have to you have to have belief in a common goal and belief in one another um, for good things to happen. If you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. Um, and this team has been able to do that. They believe that they belong there. They put the work in. Um, I knew that we had the talent, um, and we just went on a really good run. Everybody was like, everybody said, you know, you started 0 and 6, and you went 10 and 4. Um, but I thought we played some very good baseball going 0 and 6. So I knew it was just a matter of time um, before we broke through. Um, and I just give all the credit to the guys. They stuck with it. Um, starting 0 and 6 would have been easy, pretty easy to just lay in the weeds. But uh, they just could do a good, really good job of just coming out and competing. So. You know, one of the things you, you're always known for, and I, and I admire you for this, is it isn't about a single player. It isn't about a, a pitcher or it isn't about a hitter. And really, with this team, there are just so many people that have c contributed to the success that you've had. Yeah, I think it's a team effort from everybody, even the guys that haven't had the innings that they wanted to. They're a big reason why we're able to be successful. Um, we're pretty deep, so at practice, it's a competition. And if you don't show up, the guy behind you is going to sort of step in front of you a little bit. Um, when you have that, you have to show up. Um, and our guys do show up, and that's the good thing. Um, I think John Schlemmer said it the best when I read the article in the paper the other day. Um, they asked him about his big hit against Carlton in game one, and he just did a phenomenal job of just saying, you know, everybody has come through at one point in the season. It was just my turn. Um, and when you have one of your guys as a sophomore saying that, um, that sort of just puts a smile on your face as a coach that um, this team sort of gets the big picture. So, Well, let's talk about the big picture. Friday you take on St. Thomas, the top seed in the, in the uh, MIAC tournament, a 3 o'clock game up in Minnetonka. Talk a little bit about preparation for that game against the Tommies. Obviously there's no secrets. You've played them twice, mm -hmm. so you know what, uh, what they're capable of. And uh, talk about uh, Friday's game. Yeah, St. Thomas is a very good team. Um, they're ranked nationally. Uh, they have a really good pitching staff offensively. They really stepped it up here the last um, half of the MIAC. Um, they play great defense. Um, but with that being said, uh, we're going to go out there and fight. You know, we had two very, very close games, a 3-1 to one and a 4-3 to three ball game. In the 4-3 to three ball game, we had to lead twice with them. Um, uh, we're not intimidated. We're going to go out there and compete. We're going to go right after them. Um, I always tell the guys, you don't play another uniform, you play the game. The winner of the game is probably going to be the team that makes the least amount of mistakes. And um, we're hoping that's us come Friday. You know, you always talk about the nerves, the butterflies, uh, first time up there. There's going to be a lot of emotion. As the coach, you haven't been there either. How do you keep everybody in check in terms of making sure that uh, they don't let the emotions get the best of them? Um, the mound to home plate, 60 feet, 6 inches. Home the first, 90 feet. Nothing changes. Um, I want them to enjoy this. I want them to have fun with it. Um, I'm not going to hold them back. I'm going to let them go. We play aggressive baseball. We've done it all year. Um, we're not going to change the thing that we do. So we're, we're excited. It's the same baseball game. We're just playing in a different location. Last question. Don't want to put you on the spot or anything, but, uh, you know, preseason poll, the, the, the conference coaches picked you to finish last. You finished fourth in the conference. Is that a statement at all of, uh, about Cardinal baseball and, hey, we're, we're, here to, we're here to play? Yeah, I think absolutely. You know, I, I think um, for the team that we had, um, you know, but – for us in years past, is the, the poll just says that that's what the people thought of us, and I think we proved some people wrong. Um, but we want to continue to do that. Um, I 
he said, yes, the hard work is paying off here a little bit, but we got a lot of hard work ahead of us. So uh, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We're worried about Friday. 3 o'clock Friday afternoon, uh, Veterans Field in Minnetonka, opening round of the MIC tournament. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, Donnie.